Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, I don't know about you, but I love cheeseburgers. And today we're going to be making my keto cheeseburger casserole. This is the perfect weeknight dinner. It takes just one pan and it's done in about 20 minutes. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. I'm going to start by getting my cast iron skillet on the stove and adding in two rashers of chopped bacon. And I start the bacon in a cold pan and slowly let the pan heat up. I do this because the gradual heat allows the bacon fat to render out resulting in delicious crispy bacon. And we also don't need to add oil then because the bacon fat is our cooking fat. Now you can completely skip the bacon and just use a tablespoon of your favorite cooking fat. But I think bacon on a burger just adds extra flavor. So cook that bacon till it releases all its fat and pretty much deep fries itself and becomes nice and crispy. Then I add in a chopped onion, about 50 grams of onion and I saute the onion. I'm not trying to brown the onion or caramelize it too much, I just want to cook it till it turns translucent with a hint of browning on the edges. I will also add a bit of butter to this for some nutty notes. Trust me, butter plus onions plus bacon is just yum and we haven't even added the beef yet. Speaking of beef, I'm going to add some ground beef into the pan. This is 250 grams of lean beef and now I'm going to break up the beef. We don't want big chunks of ground beef so smash at that beef. Now the reason I use lean beef is because we have fat from the bacon and butter as well. We don't need any more. If you're going to use beef with fat, it can become quite greasy. So if you're using something like 80-20, you might need to either skip the butter or probably strain the meat so that you can remove the extra grease. Now it's time to season the beef and we're going with the basics. Salt of course and black pepper. Now to make it a cheeseburger, we got to have the special sauce. So I'm going to add some mustard whatever your favorite kind is, some keto mayo, some sugar free or any keto friendly tomato ketchup and also some cream cheese and then you gotta give everything a good mix till it's all well combined and also spread out and flatten the mixture in the pan now I'm using a cast iron pan which can go into the oven but if you aren't using a cast iron pan then you will need a casserole dish to bake this. Anyway once that's well mixed I turn off the heat. Now I'm gonna top this with some cheddar cheese. You can use mozzarella, gouda, any cheese you fancy. Really. Like just use any cheese man. Then this goes into my oven with the broiler setting on because the beef is already cooked we just want to brown the cheese. Once that's done, my cheeseburger casserole is ready and I'm just going to finish it with some fresh chives. You can use any herb you like or you can just completely skip it. But wow, 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 how good does that look? It makes me hungry just looking at that. So good. And of course, I can't let you go without digging into that casserole and showing you just how drool worthy it is. This is possibly my new favorite casserole dish. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, let's taste the cheeseburger casserole and I can't wait to dig in. It looks so delicious. Mmm. Oh wow. That tastes like a cheeseburger. You get that mayo-y, mustardy burger sauce kind of taste. And it's yum. And cheese, I mean... This is just like yum, like keto or no keto, this is delicious, you can serve this to anyone. Mm. So good guys. I do hope you're gonna make this. If you do, let me know how it turned out and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. If you like quick, easy, tasty and delicious keto recipes, why not check out my brand new keto ebooks? I have a three ingredient recipe book and a five ingredient recipe book. Links in the video description box just below this video. Get them now.